The Last Emperor Pu Yi. You ever, you ever seen or ever heard of that movie, The Last Emperor, which was actually filmed in the inside of the Forbidden City? Yeah, it, yeah, at the age of only three years old. He became the emperor at the age of three, and he, and his dynasty was collapsed at the age of only six years old. That was in the year of 1911. And this was the end of the dynasty. That was the end of the dynasty. And then this this guy who still lived in the inner court, uh, you know, in the inner part of the Forbidden City until 1924, and then then he was kicked out of here. The dentist, the dentist was over, and he still lived here for another 30 years. And he was kicked out of here, and the Forbidden City opened to the public as a palace museum in 1925. So next year is going to be a big year for the Forbidden City, for this palace museum, to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the foundation of the palace museum. Okay? So the age of the Forbidden City is uh, from 1420 to now the age of the forbidden city is a 604 years old and as we see it yes yes no, but didn't it burn down twice? yeah the forbidden city actually many most of the buildings uh, have burned down for many times in their history because most most of those buildings made of uh, made made of wood highly susceptible to catching the fire most of the buildings we are seeing today they were built in the rebuilt in the Qing dynasty qi the last dynasty they were origi originally built in the Ming. That was about uh, 600 years there are ago. Only two dynasties that actually lived here. That's right. There are many ancient capital cities in China, like Xi'an, the Terracotta Warriors place, the Nanjing, the former uh, capital of the Ming. Many of them. But those two dynasties that resided here in Beijing, and uh, use Beijing as their capital cities. And then when when the PRC, People's Republic of China, was established in 1949 and they used Beijing as the capital city as well, so for another 70 plus years.